showing you guys how to take aesthetic notes and all of these like Pinterest style notes that are all over the place and like they're just like goals and I started doing them a lot last year which was my senior year of high school um and honestly they were so much fun to do so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and yeah so anyways without any more rambling let's get on into the video one um is planning and planning is kind of a part that goes into this that a lot of people don't know about and what I like to do personally for planning is go on to Pinterest and look at all of these different ideas and kind of come up with a cohesive theme and I like to pick colors that are complementary colors and basically colors that aren't going to clash with each other because it just not it's just not gonna look good um and that's the whole point of making aesthetic notes is you want it to look really pretty so I like to use Pinterest to kind of get an idea and a vibe of what I want to go for um depending on the notes I'm gonna take obviously I'm gonna do my notes differently for math than I would do them for history for example so so you kind of have to tailor the design of your notes to the actual class that you're writing the notes for. So that is kind of the first thing that you do have to really think about when going into note taking. So for supplies, I love to use regular pencils as well as black pens. I also like to use my midline mid liners um I like to use highlighters um and I like to go for more of your pastel colors things like that um Crayola markers are also really good I like to use those and just basically any fine tip pen um brush type thing um you can find these at like craft stores you can also find them at Target um and any of your like supply office supply stores so yeah. So once you have come up with your theme and everything like that, next step is to actually do it. Um, so first you're going to do titles. And there are so many titles that you can do. Um, you can do calligraphy, you can do 3D boxes, you can do different fonts, you can do like regular writing and then calligraphy over top of it. You can do shadows. You can do all of these different cool things. You can do banners. You can design them however you want to design them. But, like, you want to give it your own vibe and something that just works well for you. Um, you don't want to go too crazy um, just because you don't want it to fully take over your actual notes, but you do want to make it look really cute. So that's what you're going to want to do for titles and you can get all of these inspirations from Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, things like that. them um you can use pretty much 
any style font um have fun with it go for it but this is how you're going to break up your individual sections i personally like to do banners just because they're appealing but i also like to do a few other styles um that i'm going to show you so yeah on my like pages I just find them really fun so I'm just going to share some examples of some doodles that I find really cute and they just help motivate me for when I want to you know be looking at my notes but then I want to do something so I like to do those in my margins um and yeah so I just find them fun <laughs> some like 3d effects um i recommend using sticky notes sticky notes are easy if you want to kind of do one of those like flip to help memorize and use those as test studies um as well as if you just have information that you forgot to put on your notes write it on a sticky note and put it right there onto that section it's really helpful just so you can kind of have something to look at if there's something important that you're like i need to remember this um, put a sticky note and be like, remember this, 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 and this. Um, if you're doing it for an exam or something like that and you're just like, this may or may not be on the test or this might be on the test and they do kind of those like, where they like enhance that, it may, that it's going to be on the test. Um, I recommend using sticky notes to write those down and then you can just put it right onto that note. So when you're going back and studying, you have that information be like oh yeah they said you study this this and this there you go it's like it's like your own personal cheat sheet um to help study those specific topics um you can also use sticky notes in a way to know what you need to study more of if you've gone through a review and you're like i need to study this topic more um then you kind of know when you're having a last minute study session that you need to focus on these certain topics so then you can do really good if questions like those come up on the exam. And for breaking your things up, I definitely would recommend using bullet points. Bullet points are going to save your life. Going to save your life. Um, do not write a whole novel. Do not copy your textbook. I did that my junior year and it sucked. It was hard. Don't do that. Do bullet points. It will make your life so much easier. So, like I said, do bullet points. Um, and just kind of write it in a handwriting that is easy for you to understand it. And you can look back at it and know what you're reading. Um, just because it will help you when you're doing your notes. Um, as well, like to think about what you're writing but when you go back to it it'll help your memory like actually be able to digest all of that information so if you're going to be doing diagrams diagrams are really really good for history you might want to do a timeline or a picture of that person or object to help remember something in particular um this could go as well for AP Psychology, which is a class that I took, um, any, any, like, I guess a lot more of your scientifical, um, and history classes, those are going to be really good for your timelines, um, timeline diagrams, like your bubble map diagrams, things like that, as well as just drawing physical pictures, um, I have found that those are really helpful, as well as doing a diagram of Say if you're in biology and it's photosynthesis, um, you can draw a flower and you can have all of the labels of each of the flowers there. 
and things like this help you um, just you have a visual representation of it with the information right then and there makes it really easy so for math I know how I talked about diagrams for history and science classes for math what I like to do for problems and things like that I will like to box them in and then shadow around the edge with my color of choice um and this is really helpful or I like do the cross scratches or something like that and just to emphasize you know this is important or this is an important formula things like that I find that very helpful and useful and also if you want to form math um, I did this a little bit last year, but it's actually using grid paper for your notes, and this can be really helpful so you can have all of that information there. Some people like using grid paper, some people don't. Um, either one works. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. I hope this was really helpful. I know aesthetic notes are really hard to do for some people, so I hope this helps you and gives you some inspiration. And yeah, so anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!